Well, the exhibit, as you mentioned, is called Earth, Wind, Weather, but this particular segment, I'm going to call it Earth, Wind, and Fire. We won't be singing for you, but <laughs> we will be lighting it up. Back with Anna. Anna, show me what are we going to do here? Well, so the exhibit is open, and what better way to kick it off than with a special show down on our science stage. We're going to talk about extreme weather that could also happen on other planets. So we are going to create, right here in the General Motors Earth Wind Weather Gallery, a fire tornado. Wow, so fire tornadoes can happen in other planets, but they could also happen in California, or they could happen really anywhere that there are fires. Exactly. You just need the perfect storm of conditions, and it generally happens in a place where wildfires are pretty common, but they do happen here in the United States. Thankfully, they don't happen here in Michigan too often. I've never heard of one, but we are going to make one right here inside the Michigan Science Center. Safely. Safely, exactly. Right. So we did some try this at home science with our uh, tornado spin art, but this one is definitely a do not try this at home. Um, only see it live here at the Michigan Science Center. So go ahead and put it on the top of our chimney here. Okay. Now, as the flame burns, it's consuming oxygen, right? right. So more oxygen is entering into the container through these slits in the side. But as the air warms, it starts to rise. Oh, hot air rises. Hot air always rises, right? Now, since we are giving the flame a narrower and narrower opening to travel through, that's a change in the system. Whoa. So as the size of the opening goes down, as it rises through the chimney, the speed of the rotation of the air picks up. That's the wow. change in the system. So now we definitely wouldn't want to see this outside, right? But weather is something to be respected. And you can learn all about weather here at the Michigan Science Center by stopping by anytime now that the exhibit is open. Well, and you can see the spin and the twist and the turn of the flame. You can, and it's incredibly hot in there, right? You can see that our flame, as it gets hotter and hotter, it rises up and up and up um, and exits out safely through the top where it's way up there and not going to harm us. And I know there's a lot of lessons here. Does it take hot air to create a tornado? It does, well, it takes a, t a change in temperature and a pressure, change. right? That's how we get wind, that's how we get weather, is when temperature and pressure meet and sometimes need to shift rotations or shift their orientation. I'm sure you hear this all the time on the weather, right? When we talk about hot and cold fronts or high and low pressure zones, when those two types of air meet, they can cause extreme weather like tornadoes. Wow, so, and again, this is something you should not try at home, but there are experiments that you can try at home, and these types of things you are gonna be doing live experiments throughout the course of time, correct? Exactly. Stop by and try some tornado spin art with us, see the gallery, stop by our science stage because we'll be doing extreme science demonstrations like this one too. And, and I have to tell you, there's a couple of cool things. It's just like weather is unpredictable, some of these weather exhibits, there is a geyser that continues, it's so stinking cool, but it keeps going off in between our live segments. So I haven't been able to show you the geyser. You're gonna have to come down and see that. There's the ocean. There's just so many really cool elements, but just like weather is, it has a timing all on its own. So it hasn't been activated in the exact moment that we're live, which means you're gonna have to come down here. Today's the grand opening, and they're open Thursdays through Sundays. We've got information on our website, wxyz.com. A fire tornado, Simon. Thank you, Jen. That's a tough act to follow. So cool, and of course, don't try it at home.